is back to do another motherfucking makeup video, bitch. Ah! Okay, let's get down to business, shall we? So, if you guys have not been living under a rock, y'all know that a major launch happened today. That would be a makeup launch, and that would be from our girl, Miss Riri, Miss Rihanna, if you're nasty, okay? So, if you guys don't already know, Miss Rihanna, Ella, Ella, y'all know, came out with her own makeup line. It launched today, the 8th of September, okay? And I will leave all links for every single product that I mentioned in this video down below so you guys can check out pricing and all of that stuff because today, what we are going to do is try out the products that came out literally today. Now, when I say today, I mean middle of the night today. I mean like it was 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and I'm Central Time, bitch. So. I was up in the middle of the motherfucking night with one of my kids, okay? Kid in arm trying to click, click, click to try to buy these products, right? And I did manage to get my hands on a few of them and then I just happened to go to the mall today and ran right into them at Sephora, okay? So all the links will be down below if you guys prefer to go to Sephora. You can definitely go to Sephora because whenever I checked it out, they were fully stocked with every possible shade because online there are a few shades that are totally out. Um, one in particular I will tell you guys about because I have my hands on it in this video. Another thing is, if you do plan on buying these things online, you need to sign up for eBay so you can save yourself some coin because this isn't the most expensive makeup line in the world, but it isn't the cheapest makeup line in the world. So the link is at the top of the description box for eBay, which is a way you can actually earn money, literally cash, that gets deposited into your PayPal, whatever card you want it to go on, okay? And that's basically, they pay you to shop. So every time you shop, a certain percentage of whatever you paid for, for whatever items you purchase, goes back either into your PayPal if you choose, or or it will go back on the card that you designate, okay? And that's real, real money. In addition to the fact that if you sign up, use the link at the top of the description box down below to sign up for an Ebates account. You'll get a free $10 bonus from me, from your girl to y'all that you can use for a future purchase, okay? The other thing about it is too is that they're affiliated with Ulta, so for every possible store and then a man, and they give cash back on every single purchase through every single store, and there's over 2,000 stores they're affiliated with. So there's Macy's, there's Ulta, there's Sephora, there's Carter's. I mean, every store you could possibly imagine is on that site. So sign up down below, get yourself that free $10. Now, I know you guys are shocked that a bitch came in and did this shit kind of on the quick side. Look, I'm gonna be quick with this video we're gonna do a first impressions slash rapid review slash full-on full face demo type situation on this stuff okay basically this makeup line is just I mean when I say I was floored by how extensive this makeup line is okay she really put her foot up in this shit okay the other thing that's absolutely amazing about this makeup line is the fact that there are 40 40 40 40 shades foundation shades that is 40 foundation shades when I say every possible color looks to be represented within those 40 shades, it's not just for us ebony goddesses out there. It goes all the way down to the most porcelain, beautiful princesses out there, okay? Literally, there is really, what, from what I could see, a shade for every motherfucking body. She really, really made it a point to make sure she included every possible shade. Now, y'all know if this motherfucker can do this shit on her first go round, then y'all know these other makeup companies that have been around the block and have put out makeup products upon makeup products and foundations upon foundations should know better than to come out with one to two damn dark shades when they come out with a foundation line. So hopefully they'll learn a little something from this, okay? because she literally has several shades in the deeper, darker skin tones to choose from, which is absolutely phenomenal. Like, I literally had choices of what I could rock, okay? So in this particular instance, I actually picked up three different shades that I could swatch for you guys, all within my skin tone. If you guys are curious about what skin tone I am, I am NW45 in MAC, just to give you a generalization. So let's go through what I got. Again, I'm going to zoom through this stuff, okay? So all the links for this will be down below if you guys wanna see pricing, but for the most part, the foundation was $34 and for the most part that's pretty much the range for most everything in this collection but again check out the links in the description box and you will see all of that okay so here's my lovely bag from Sephora okay so let's go through the swatches shall we all right first and foremost we got 440 and this is what the box looks like the packaging on the products 
are actually beautiful. They're actually phenomenal. And the display is super, super nice. And like I said, there are so many products in this collection. She has only just one lip gloss, okay? But the rest, I mean, she's got primers, she's got highlighters, she's got blotting powders, blotting paper, she's got the brushes that go along with pretty much almost every single thing. Another couple of things that I thought was really cool, some of the items actually magnetically combine together so that you can actually keep them kind of compact and keep them easily transportable. So that's pretty dope. This is what the packaging looks like. This is what the front looks like look how cute that is right and this is like I said 440 so let's go ahead and swatch it out just so and it's very liquidy just upon first glance I apologize I know y'all hear my kids there we go boom so let's swatch out 450 again same container but it's just a little bit redder this is the one I think is my shade you gotta be real careful with these because they will drip. They are very, very liquidy. And this is for 60. Y'all see how much deeper that is? Yes, honey, yes. She was thinking about everybody in this line, okay? I love it, I love it, love it, love it. So let's go ahead and get the air out and we will go ahead and do that. That way you guys can see the swatches, okay? So here they are, lightest to darkest, 440, 450, 460. You guys know I like a deeper red in my foundation, but I'm going to go for 450 and see how that works. The other thing I should let y'all know that not only does this motherfucker come in 40 separate shades, but 460, which is the deepest shade I've shown y'all of the three that I got, is not the deepest, darkest shade in the collection, okay? There are still three other shades after 460 you can choose from that have different undertones, okay? 490 being the deepest, darkest shade. In addition to the fact that there are a few before 440, which is the lighter shade that I showed you of the three, that you can also choose from, so there's a lot to choose from for us melanin-infused people out there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start out with the primer. Primer, okay, and that would be the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer, all right? And this bad boy is supposed to diffuse lines on your face. It's supposed to make your skin look even more even. It's supposed to stop shine and it's supposed to even skin texture, okay? So that's all in this little bottle right here. And since it is soft matte, you guys already know I'm loving that as well. So that's supposed to give me an even more matte face. Now, I'm not even gonna sit here in front. When I was in the store, I was actually able to see that most of the ladies in the store was actually wearing the foundation on their face, in addition to other products from the Fenty Beauty line. And I can already tell there's a few things that I would probably say, I guarantee you are gonna come out with this foundation, but we're gonna see if I'm right, and I'll tell you guys at the end of the video. So here is what the bottle for this looks like, okay? And... Here we go, let's go ahead and put this bad boy on our face. We're supposed to be able to use our fingers. That's kind of what it looks like. Kind of a pinkish color. Okay. Now, you are gonna notice that I done broke out a little bit right around my mouth, okay? Because your girl did the squiggly brow and scribbly, squiggly lip challenge. It's not even a challenge. I showed y'all motherfuckers a tutorial of, of that particular trend, the Instagram trend, for my latest Do It For The Gram video. So if you guys wanna check that out, it's down below. But I'm breaking out everywhere I did it, okay? So you're gonna see that on my face. Okay, here we go. So we got it on our fingers, and we're gonna go ahead and put it, and I should actually put my hair back, so I'm gonna do that here in a second. But we're just gonna do it like we would if we were putting this on to head out the dough and go somewhere. Feels good on the face though. Feels hydrating, which is crazy because it's supposed to make your face matte. Does it look, yeah, you can tell, you can tell. Yeah, it does look good. And they also said with this particular product, you could actually wear this on its own as well. Okay, so let's get started with the foundation. We're gonna go in with number 450, okay? Now you guys know, I have tried different foundations before. I ended up picking the wrong color when I have a couple colors in my possession. This time I'm trying not to go too dark, because you guys know sometimes I go a little bit too red. We're getting in the cooler temperature, so I'm not as dark, okay? So we're gonna see if 450 is a good happy medium between the three foundations. But like I said, I have other options if I need to exchange this out, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and apply the foundation with the Foodie Fender, okay? Rihanna's Beauty Blender, wherever I can find that shit, boom, okay? And then we're gonna use a uh, foundation brush that I have that's similar to the one that she has available. I will leave that one linked down below if you guys wanna check out how much that is and what that brush is, okay? So, got the primer on my face, done pull my wig back and shit, and here we go, boom, let's go. 
Boom, that's the color on my skin. Okay, I'm about to put a little bit too much, but we'll spread it. Oh, whoops, I shouldn't have put on the other side. Whoops, my bad, y'all. No worries. I'll go ahead and finish it off with the brush. Very light feeling on the face, so let's go ahead. Boom, okay. I might have had to try the 440, but that's okay. We're gonna just see what happens, okay? Because it might be just a tad bit too dark. But y'all see how much, y'all see that, y'all see that, okay? She's got some, some, you know, she's got some colors, all right? She's got a color range going. So I might have had to try 440, but you guys know, we're gonna keep it going because honestly, it's not about the shade because she's got a variety of shades. It's about how the foundation actually performs. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of my face and I'm gonna use a brush that is similar to the one that she's got on her site, if I can find it. Boom. So is it weird that I wanna try 440 on the other side of my face? I know, I know, I know. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy. But shoot, did y'all see the squiggly brow challenge? Shit, a bitch is crazy. So let's try 440. I actually do want to see what this looks like on my face. So let's go ahead and we're going to just put this on here. Use the brush. Boom. Okay, now you're supposed to kind of sweep it up. Kind of a sweep up motion here. Yeah, this is a better color for my face. They're kind of like, I'm kind of in between, if that makes sense. So I really could have mixed the two, but you guys know, when I test products out, and it smells good, um, when I test products out, I don't test them trying to buy two and three shades and putting all two, three shades on my face. Because the reality is, more than likely, you'd rather just buy one shade and be satisfied with the one shade. So when I test products, that's how I demo them out for you. Although, if you want to buy more than one shade and mix the two, you are more than welcome to. I just de don't demo the products that way. So that's why this time, I'm gonna go ahead and put one on one side of my face. Okay, so this is what it looks like on this side of my face. 440 is definitely a better shade for me, but we'll see once I go ahead and set it. And I'm going to use her blotting powder to set my foundation, which is opposite of what I typically do. I always usually use my Makeup Forever Duo Matte, but I'm going to go ahead and do an entire face for the most part with this, uh, with all of her products. So we're going to see how this goes. I don't use blotting powder, uh, blotting powder very much. I don't need to really blot really because um, I don't have oily skin, but I'm still going to use it. Next up is our Invisa Matte Blotting Powder right and it's got cute packaging as well and it's a really cute little box okay and there's a brush that you can actually purchase along with it if I'm not mistaken that magnetically just kind of fits right into this little pocket right here that makes it very transportable you know what I mean it comes with a mirror as you see here and then it also comes with um, this little um, pad right over here so we're gonna go ahead and do that along with this brush. Again, I didn't get the brush that goes with the blotting powder, um, but this is similar to what you would technically use. So we're gonna go ahead and dab, dab, dab. Boom, boom. Take off the excess, and we're gonna just pat it in. Boom, here is what my face looks like with the blotting powder. Okay, I've kinda let it sit for a little bit just to make sure that it's fully meshed with the foundation. Doesn't look bad at all, doesn't look bad at all, okay? Now we've got the Fenty Beauty Match Stick, okay? This is a matte skin stick, and here is the packaging for said product. And let's go ahead and open it up right here. Very, very cute packaging. Right over here, boom. Boom, y'all see that dark shade? Yes, honey, I love it. Okay, now, this particular product, you're actually supposed to not only be able to use this as contour, but you're also able to use this as a concealer. Now, because of the shade that I got, this is not gonna do well for me as a concealer, and I really did not conceal it under my eye. We are gonna use this to contour, okay? And so, as you guys can see, that is the color right there. Let me go ahead and swatch it out. It's just a nice, a nice soft, see that? How pretty that is, that nice little brown shade, honey. Boom, very easy to apply, I'm not gonna do a ton. Boom, done, so you guys can see it. Next up, we've got the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlight Duo. This 
is what I've been hearing a whole hell of a lot about. There are several different shades. It retails for $34. There are two shades within this product for each of the sets of shades. The one I got is in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. Y'all know I'm gonna love that name. And so I went ahead and went with that one. And y'all, when y'all see the colors on this bad boy, you will understand it is absolutely gorgeous. Here is the packaging on the actual product itself. Look at these colors, y'all. I know you guys see fingerprints. That was me. I was swatching them with my fingers. My fingers are a hot mess right now. Otherwise, I would show you guys, but you will see it on my face here shortly. Gorgeous. And I'm gonna use the glossier shade of the two, okay? So let's go ahead. Ooh, yes, yes. I put too much on, but we're gonna try it out and see how this goes. Use my mirror. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god. It's like, look, bitch. Bitch! Oh my god, that's gorgeous. Okay, keep in mind, I haven't blended it, okay? I didn't realize it would come across so damn pigmented on my skin, honey. They ain't never lied. Here we go, and bam. Oh, 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 oh. Now, what I'm wearing on my face doesn't match with any damn thing I'm rocking on my, my being, okay? But, y'all see that? Yes, okay, let me go ahead and blend it in a little bit. Keep in mind, it's not completely blended in. You guys know I'm not a huge highlight person, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. You will notice there's a little fallout on the powdery of the two shades, actually on the Moscow Mule, it's, it's more powdery, okay? So you will experience some fallout, hence what you see on my face more than likely. But, once I kind of get this blended in a little bit better, that's kind of how my face looks. They ain't never lied when they said this was a matte foundation. It is most definitely matte. It feels extremely comfortable on the skin. Probably one of the most comfortable foundations I have ever rocked, honestly, that is matte. It did set, and as you guys can see, it is a soft matte. It's not that, that, that crusty, hard, matte finish, if that makes any sense, where you feel like it's gonna do a little bit of extra, you know, crumbling and that kind of thing, but we're gonna see, cause we're gonna rock it for a few hours and kind of just see what it does after a while, but this is probably one of the most comfortable foundations I have probably ever worn, literally, of any foundation I've rocked, okay? Even some of my favorite foundations. This is more comfortable than some of, than some of my more favorite foundations, okay? So, let's go ahead and last but not least, apply her lip gloss, which is the Gloss Balm. It's the only lip product she came out with. And now, I don't know if you guys saw the display or have seen some of the photos of her rocking this or some of her models rocking this on Instagram and other places. It looked like they were rocking a liner with it. I wish that she had come out with a liner that they wore with this particular uh, this particular lip balm, lipstick or lip gloss, okay, as it were. I wish they had come out with the, uh, the, the lip liner for it because the lip liner they chose is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. We're gonna go ahead and just use our own. So we're gonna go ahead and just use Night Moth because it's literally right in front of me. And that's what we're gonna use to line our lips and then we're gonna apply the lip gloss, which by the way, let me show you what the lip gloss looks like boom really really pretty you guys it is just a gorgeous gorgeous really like pretty peachy and that's kind of the undertone of everything including the highlighter um kind of a peachy colored gloss okay beautiful color and i'm going to go ahead and apply my lip liner real quick night moth from mac we're going to use that and then apply the lip gloss and then we're gonna rock this bad boy all day and see what's up. Another thing you will notice about it is the fact that the doe foot applicator is super, super thick, which I actually love. So, that doesn't sound very appealing. <laughs> okay. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Boom, all right. So here's the finished look, and uh, I did as best I could, being that I was using the viewfinder to pretty much do my face, but I really like just how natural everything kind of comes across. I love the highlighter, y'all. The highlighter, and I'm not even a highlight person, but the highlighter off the top, even though it is probably all over the place because, like I said, I used the um, the more powdery of the two, the Moscow Mule. The other one is um, has a little bit more, it's a little bit more compact, so just giving you that heads up. But um, I put a little bit of my own blush on here and probably need to blend the contour just a little bit better, but 
it, it looks really pretty. It's a very natural, very simple, very on the go, like let me go and run some errands. I'm finna go to the grocery store, but I still wanna look like I'm semi put together type of look, okay? I wish that she had done more lip products, like, like actual lip sticks and whatnot, but really I think the focus for this launch, outside of the fact that she's got a ton of products with this, is the foundation, which is fine by me, because 40 shades is great, and you guys clearly see from the foundation that it still looks really good, and despite the fact that I have two colors on my face, it actually doesn't look like it, right? Okay? And I have not put my Duo Matte Powder on my face, but you guys know I always test my products out with that powder. This blotting powder so far is pretty damn off the hook. I'm very, very impressed impressed okay so far and then it takes a lot to impress this bitch so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the road I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like in natural daylight so you guys can actually see what everything looks like um, with the, all of these bright lights okay we're gonna rock this bad boy for a few hours just to kind of see how it works and uh, what lasts and what doesn't I will come back and give y'all everything from the motherfucking root to the motherfucking to the bitch all right I'll be back boom I'm back bitches Y'all miss me? Okay. So, here is my face after several hours of well, y'all already know the deal. I know y'all see my face. Now, it wasn't hot outside. It wasn't real, you know, cool outside. I didn't deal with any of those types of things. You know what I'm saying? So, you pretty, pretty much see in my face after I've rocked it for a little bit in pretty much fall weather, okay? And y'all see how how nice my face still looks. Now, I haven't had anything to eat. I'm actually about to eat. So typically by now, you'd have seen me have a little something to eat, have a little something to drink. I literally went and ran some errands and then came back home and that was it. But let me go ahead and show you guys what this whole face looks like outside so you guys can see it in the elements, all right? So as you guys can see, it still looks really, really good, even in natural daylight. The sun had already pretty much gone down. It's been kind of a murkier day today. It wasn't really sunny, full sun all day today but as you guys can see it looks really 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 good and for the most part I mean I I'm surprised I really wasn't sure how this formula of foundation was gonna work for me I saw it on the reps skin at Sephora and I asked them specifically who had oily skin and dry skin so I do have a couple thoughts on that just so you guys kind of know so for me who's got normal skin okay for the most part except during the summertime when you guys know I perspire I sweat like I've got oily skin okay Okay, but now that it's a little cooler out and I really didn't sweat today, you guys see how well this foundation lasted. I'm talking about everything, the highlight and all of that. Y'all see my cheeks is popping big. Even the lip gloss is still on and I know it probably does have everything to do with the fact that I do have a lip liner on and Night Moth really doesn't go anywhere unless you really work to get it off and I haven't really had anything to drink or eat or any of that, okay? So, let me go ahead and give you the quick rundown. I'm not even gonna fake the funk with y'all. It takes a lot to impress me, okay? But reality is, I'm not gonna lie, being that this is Rihanna's, Miss Riri's first go round on a makeup line, and I was really kind of like, I don't know how this is gonna go because she came out hard, okay? Like this bitch went hard in the paint with a shit ton of products, okay? And for her to have come out with this being her first makeup line, coming out with as many products as she did, and I'm sure it took a long time in, in the making, okay? These motherfuckers are great. Like, I really don't mind the price point of these products, okay? They're pretty mid-range. I mean, they're pretty much like an Estee Lauder double wear type price range, okay? You don't have to have the brush to be successful at applying your foundation. You don't have to have the food defender to be successful at applying your foundation. The only thing that I have a question mark about, and that's simply because I don't have the driest of skin, and just based on what I saw on the ladies in Sephora, it didn't look that great on dry skin, okay? The drier the skin, I think the worse it's going to look, because because it is a matte foundation, it's very liquidy, and it also sets to the point where I feel like it's going to only enhance dry patches and that kind of thing. That's the only thing that I noticed on the, the, the people at Sephora's faces. There was at least two ladies that I saw there with two different um, uh, skin types, but both dry, okay? So one was drier than the other, and the foundation didn't look that great on them um, to me, okay? And that's, I think, simply because of the fact that they do have drier skin. And I also asked them what their input was on that, and they said the same thing. They basically said, you know, I had to use a moisturizing primer before applying the foundation. So I would recommend that, but it didn't look horrible. I just don't feel like it looked its best on the driest of skin.
Another quick side note before I go is I wanted to make sure to let you guys know, if you guys couldn't already tell, the foundation does oxidize just a tad bit. So if you're looking to try to pick your color, maybe just go a tad bit lighter because it does oxidize a little bit. It's not so much that it's horrible. Clearly you guys saw that. My face still looks good on both sides, but I wanted to make sure that I made note of that too. Honestly, the foundation is just pretty. This is definitely going to be a go-to for the fall and winter when I'm just running errands. I need to just go someplace right quick. Nothing long-term. This, I mean, I'm very pleasantly surprised, okay? And the amount of product that there is, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Look, Rihanna did a motherfucking good as fuck ass job on her first run, okay? Better than a lot of some of these other motherfucking companies. So these motherfucking companies out here coming out with one or two shades for us. Melanin infused motherfuckers out here need to take notes that a motherfucking singing bitch done shook your shit, okay? Because honey, she has every shade under the sun on this motherfucker, which is that's the, like the number one thing. And then she didn't make it over the top pricey, okay? So y'all know the deal. Y'all know to go ahead and thumbs up this motherfucking video. Hit subscribe if you guys have not already become part of the fam bam. Welcome to all of my new subscribers here. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys have checked this out, what your thoughts have been on it. If you're oily, please let me know. If you're dry, let me know what your experience has been with it. If there's any products you guys think I should have gotten comment those down below and let me know what other products you guys want me to do first impression slash rapid reviews slash get ready with me full face type demos on leave those comments in the, in the description box I always say that down below under the description box don't forget to sign up for Ebates as well okay because like I said even though they're not the priciest you can save yourself some coin and get paid to buy these products on the Sephora website okay you can also get it at Fenty Beauty but you won't get cash back on that you want to use Sephora's website to take advantage of the cash back and you want to use your Ebates account to do that and then you get a free $10 gift card so do that okay use the link at the top of the description box to get your free $10 gift card to create your account on Ebates and get to shopping y'all the links are in the description box down below you already know the deal holla at your girl on twitter twitter.com forward slash social like sandy hit me up on my facebook fan page my pinterest page those links are down below hit me up on my blog the socialitelife.com and hit me up on instagram periscope and snapchat at social like sandy s-a-n-d-e and you already know i love y'all and i will see y'all in the next video love y'all